Ari, American manufacturing is important to the both of us. Absolutely. We bring that up because we're standing in front of a system that is American made. Do you recognize the name Associated Metalcast? I'm very familiar with those teams. Those guys in Alabama are incredible. They once told me that they will not, I'm sure they would if it came up, but they will not bid on the job unless they can automate it. They have a ton of your US made products there, but you know what blew my mind? It was one of the, the first time my mind had opened to the possibility, right? Absolutely. And currently, you and I know what I'm talking about and what we're getting ready to talk about, the audience does not, but it's the reshoring initiative that we're doing. And they told me that they were able to reshore a project that was being done in what would be considered a more cost-effective country mm -hmm. and reduce that overall cost by 40 to 60% with US made products and automation. Can you go over a little bit of that story as well? Yeah, so they had a you know an opportunity to bring some uh, some manufacturing into their facility from uh, from I believe it was India. Um, so you know many of our you know people, especially in the automotive or agricultural industry that we focus on today, uh, believe that it's more cost effective to machine uh, manufacture uh, some product over there. Certainly, COVID you know had an impact on that. The supply chain disrupted everything. Um, you know, put a lot more emphasis on on reshoring that. But how do you reshore cost effectively? Well, you know, our labor rates are significantly more um, than, you know, some of the other countries that we're competing with on a global scale. So how do we do that? We do that through automation, right? And uh, in utilizing your intelligent workforce, your uh, maybe more costly workforce than, you know, as compared to a global scale um, for more intelligent tasks, right? Um, and utilize the automation to run around the clock, get that unattended runtime, um, you know, take care of those uh, those monotonous tasks that, that otherwise couldn't be done. But keeping that spindle utilization up, you know, and, and rather than, you know, a manually tended machine where Akuma did a study, the manually tended uh, machine spindle utilization is 34%, you know, and a lot of people tell you, oh, I'm way better than that. It's just not, it's mathematically impossible, um, you know, on many you know, horizontal lathes. Uh, so when you put an autom automation, even a standardized or a modified uh, load and go piece of automation like this, you easily get into that 60%, you know, and then you start looking at the full blown custom automation solution you have behind us. They're looking at 97%, you know, OEE. And that's really, I mean, going to the nth degree on, uh, you know, figuring out your tool changes and everything, uh, but it can be done. It can be more cost effective to manufacture here in the States, um, but you have to automate it. Uh, we will not be globally competitive, um, you know, on uh, with, you know, the, our other um, uh, nations um, due to our labor rates, right? Uh, so we have to automate it and we have to think about that make sure we're thinking about these projects ahead. And to bring this whole conversation kind of full circle, you're in the world of automation far more than I am, but it's one of my favorite topics to talk about is, and it gets brought up regularly, so you probably hear it as well, but I haven't asked you this question before we started the conversation, mm -hmm. is robots are taking my job. Have you heard that before? Oh yeah, we hear that all the time. Now, you guys can go back and check my Associated Metalcast video if you want to, but I'm gonna brain check myself. If I'm not mistaken, the folks over there started around around 10 people yeah. and are around 130 people now in less than 10 years. Yes. And they're automating everything. Does that sound like jobs are being taken yeah, to you? Yeah, definitely not taking the jobs away. And actually, I just spoke with those guys a couple weeks ago. They're up to 189 people now. 189 people. Are you guys hearing this as well? It's so important to understand these aren't just words. It's not just sales tactics. It's not just trying to close a deal on a machine. This is important yep. to understand. Yep. Dull, dirty, dangerous, remove the monotony, remove the danger. We're still hiring people. There's a massive labor shortage, not taking jobs, allowing you to compete on a global level. Ari, Absolutely. did I leave anything out? No, that's great, great point. Yes, sir, you are Thank incredible. You. All of you who are watching, you're incredible as well. Let's bring as much manufacturing as we can back to the US in a responsible way. Ari, thank you so much for sharing your passion, your story. This is Gossiger Automation, this is MTD CNC. We appreciate your time and we'll see you again soon. Thanks, Tony.